Shoot! Ah, oh, it fakes it! Ah! Oh. Felix! No! <laughs> He's fouled him! That's a foul! Hello, welcome along to LS11, the uh, two Toms here on FIFA Preview Duty. Once again, it's going to be Leeds welcoming Hull City this Saturday. Tom Cardiff joins me, Tom Maguire. Uh, Merry Christmas, Tom. Merry Christmas. Tis the season to be something. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, holiday. Christmas, yes, Christmas. Yeah, um, let's do the flip coin and just get on with it. That's flip coin, a, coin flip. flip, whatever. Yeah, we're in Christmas mode now, and it's basically the end of the week now, and it's uh, <laughs> yeah. kind of bothering now. That's true. Right, okay, so uh, what would you like to call... Heads or tails? Tails. It's heads. How many weeks are we going to lose it in a row? I'm going to have to go with Leeds. Oh, fair enough. enough. Uh, I'm scared. Right. Got a lot of expectations. Oh, we didn't look at the team sheet. We will check out the, we'll check out the team sheet. No, no, we need to check out the team sheet. Um, of course, don't forget as well, actually, we've been in and gone and visited uh, the uh, Leeds players who've been to the LGI this week. Uh, we put speaking to Calvin Phillips, Ronaldo Vieira, and Pablo Hernandez, you can go to RadioYorkshire.co.uk yes, pass me the ball. and go check that out as well. Get on with the game, Tom. Oh, yeah. right. the game. So yeah, go check those interviews out. Tom uh, and myself went down there to the LGI and it was lovely to see them coming and bringing some festive cheer to the kids and everyone, wasn't it? It was, yes. The nurses as well, yeah. the doctors, even the cleaners, it was really great. Yeah, they were all really kind of involved with it as well. So, yeah. you know, fair play to them for that. And yeah, um, obviously good to see the, the club out and about in the community. Um, especially at this time of year as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so at Ellen Road. Yes. Um, Hull, bit of a struggle inside at the moment. Yeah. Do you think you can fair. take three points? I don't know. Um, Hull are a team who score a lot but concede a lot. So it's how Leeds deal with that. We know Leeds defensively have been okay at times, have been great at times, been bad at times. So I'm not sure. I think Leeds given the period that they're currently in, um, should be looking at this as, as another win if they they want, or if they are to be where they want to be. Here's what the, the, we've gone for, what we expect the starting lineup to be. Similar, well, it's pretty much... Unchanged, I Unchanged, think it is. Is it, yeah. Yeah. To the Norwich game, and uh, Pablo, um, uh, Pablo Hernandez isn't there, but on can the come off the bench, and we've uh, seen the sort of impact he has. Janssen again on the score sheet. Jibitsky looking good, Roof yeah. looking pretty good. Uh, we'll review the Norwich game in full in a set, but uh, not too bad in terms of the starting eleven. Yeah, I think it'd be harsh to drop Pablo. Chubitsky at the moment and uh, Hull this is their team with minor changes um, yeah. Josh Barton came off the bench if I remember rightly last week's put him on automatically there uh, but pretty much that's it as it was last week with that one change at kind of right midfield yeah so uh, the game against Norwich a uh, 1-0 win for uh, Pontus Janssen uh, getting the goal and you were there Tom uh, overall thoughts uh, of the win on Saturday um, yeah yeah um, Leads far from their best, but got the result, which is most important. It probably you learn more probably about a team when they win when they're not playing well. Um, so yeah, good, uh, good overall, great head from Janssen. But the delivery that chubitsky has got on set pieces, it's very, very, very good. It's good to see him getting some game time. <laughs> yeah, but as well, you can see like, wow, actually, you can put him on a set piece and the ball he can whip into the box, as shown on the goal, it's quite deadly. Um, so obviously there's a, another use for him but his general oh, goal time um, his general all round play was was good um, very impressed impressed with him at QPR obviously getting the assist for Roof very impressed with him last week and again starting him here because frankly I, why would you drop him mm. unless you physically have to and why would you drop him at the moment because he's played very well see that there number 23 for Hull pushed my player out of the way Um convincingly as well I don't think it's going to show it again but it was a bit odd that mm. cheers FIFA didn't, let me didn't, down didn't show it so obviously it didn't Cooper, uh, Cooper's good didn't happen um, so that's a shame it happened it? I will show you it oh my god oh no Le Leeds not started Leeds well. have fallen apart again oh, as soon as Tom Maguire gets his hands on them that's it that is it sure um, yeah, so uh, Chabitsky's looking good, obviously, and we were, spe we were speaking to Pablo, and Pablo was uh, welcoming the competition. Yeah, it's obviously good good for him, um, because it's a busy Christmas period, we know that um, Leeds can now, with the emergence of Chabitsky, feel like... Oh, Krizicki! Oh my word. Oh my word. What is happening? Oh my word. 
What's happened to me and playing FIFA? And where did that come from? Oh my word. Um, but yeah. Uh, Look. Look at this. What? Grizzicki, I knew it. Well, he's a class act, isn't he? So have a go from there. Oh, Get Felix, in. you should deal with that better. Get in, what a hit. What's Cooper doing? He ain't trying to get in the way, isn't he? Trying his best. God, Lord, that um, was awful. But yeah, Chibitsky, obviously, his impact that we've seen over the past couple of weeks, especially last week, it, it's got to be welcome. Um, busy Christmas period. It gives Thomas Christian, Christiansen kind of a good uh, headache to have. Um, oh, come on. Oh, behave yourself. Um, the standard Luke Halen foul of someone's touched my back. Oh, no. And it works every time. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been good, uh, obviously for Pablo as well. We know, oh, we know how important he was to the team last year. The arrival of uh, Saez Alioski has taken it off him a bit, and he, I think, it's brought out better in him. Um, so yeah, for this one, put Pablo on the bench. But the point I want to make is, I'd, uh, as long as Leeds, uh, you know, it's a busy Christmas period. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's giving it straight back. Oh, no. Oh, my Finish Lord. it! <coughs> wow. Look at that. For goodness sake. That's poor. There we go. Um, I'd probably rest size um, for Burton. I think it's good. He's obviously been a big player for Leeds this season. He's been called upon a lot. I think it's only, you know, just to give him a rest. It's a busy period. But Birmingham after that, Forest after that. I'd be tempted, especially with Chubitsky, uh, his kind of emergence, be uh, looking at maybe playing Pablo at attack, central attack in midfield, in size position to give size a bit of a rest. Well, uh, what about Aileen? I think he might need a rest. Yeah. You've no real, I mean, have you got a real right choice centre back? Uh, no, not centre back, sorry. Right choice, second choice, maybe? Uh, oh, come on. Goal time. Oh no! Um, you play Borfuk Jackson or Anita at left back and play Berardi at right back. Yeah, perhaps. natural position. Um, oh, ho, ho. I just think with how hectic the Christmas schedule is, I think Leeds will need to rotate. You don't want to burn players like Saiz out as well. We know how important he is to this team. Um, Pablo obviously naturally plays that central attacking midfield role. And, um, yeah, just give him opportunity to rest up a bit so he's constantly at his best. I think it wasn't a great Leeds performance, I'll be honest, uh, against Norwich, but it got the job done. No, who cares when you've got three points? Yeah, just... And we were looking at it thinking, uh, obviously, they need to, what, 18 points for grabs, we were saying, uh, and they're looking pretty damn good right now. Yeah, it's a 12-plus. Uh, just good. outside of the playoffs. A win will take them into the playoffs this exactly. weekend yeah. because Sheffield United play Aston Villa. So a win will take Leeds into the playoffs. Uh, again, which is obviously great to go in at Christmas in the playoffs. Um, oh, Grzycki again. What a tackle. What? 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 <laughs> Grzycki has kept it in. What? I'm infuriated by that. And it comes on the back of weeks of not playing great. That's infuriating. You, you, you really are experiencing Leeds October, November-esque, aren't you? You're horrendously out of form at the moment. There's such a thing as a sore winner, Tom. Horrendously out of form. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, First ever LS11 preview where someone is uh, wins by automatic punching of the face. <laughs> I'll have to check the rule book. Uh, uh, I'm, I just made it up. It's a, it's a rule that will happen. I'll have to check my programme. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, went for the big one. There we go. Oh, Alioski's free. Don't matter when. Oh, uh, no, no. God, it's getting worse. No. Oh, oh my Bowen's God, what it. is going on? Oh, Bowen's done it over. Oh. oh. Damn it. But what, what were we saying? Oh, yeah, about I this. I don't know. I'm infuriated. I was, I was going to be fuming with Felix Friedval then. Um, we said 12 points, wasn't it, over the six games from QPR to Forest. We said I think 12 plus would be a great return. Leeds have already got six. They're halfway there uh, already. So, yeah. 
It's good, good start to the month so far. Um, they've got a great opportunity to keep it going. Against a struggling whole side, I know they made the managerial change. It worked immediately. Lost at Cardiff this weekend. Possibly. Yeah, but Cardiff are all right this season. It yeah, seems. then you say Leeds are as well, if Leeds want to yeah. be where they... <laughs> if Leeds want to be where... This is what I'm worried about now, because you were in here, and you, as you have maybe the past couple of weeks, and you've been setting up the, the teams... Have you been messing around with like the st settings or anything to make sure I'm I'm having a poor game what, or anything? Like, I don't know. Put all your attributes down to like one. Can you? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Must be a way. Hacks. Hacks. Hacker man. Hacker. Grzicki. He's still going. Oh, try and win the corner. Well done, Coops. But uh, I'd be a little surprised if this was the score at half time. How about Ronaldo and uh, Phillips? What have you thought of their little partnership in the midfield? Yeah, we spoke to both of them, uh, didn't we, at the LGI? Uh, interviews, of course, online. Um, yeah, I thought they've been a, a real good partnership. They're, they recognise the fact they're young, they're, well, it's like, well, they're still learning, but they look composed, they look good. They offer different options as well to Leeds. Um, been very impressed with them so far. It's our ball again. Ah. Um, so I really like that midfield partnership. And then... You know, nothing against O'Kane, but it means that he's then on the bench available to come in when needed. Yeah, so I, I quite like Union. And we, oh. oh, what a tackle! With what a tackle, Pontus! What's happened? It's half time. <laughs> Horrible. What a. I want to see this. This is the thing, you, can't, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't perform really well because it really slows the conversation down, and I feel like I can't talk about the game now. And also, every Leeds fan under the sun watching this is going to be like, as soon as, I, as soon as I went, I'll, I'll choose Leeds, I bet everyone went, no. not again. Uh, well, it's not my fault, is it? So, not my problem. You're the one that's got to deal with the angry mob. <laughs> I'm being hauled. No, oh, I, can't. Oh, I was going to say, are we switching? <laughs> we can't so do I've that. had 11 shots. Yeah, we saw. That's great. Um, I know we didn't. <laughs> Let's have a look. 11, 11 shots, shots, six on target. More possession, more tackles, more corners, more the lot. Yeah. Have it. We'll see how we get on now in the second half. Uh... It's new half. It's nil nil, boys. That classic Sunday League shout. It's nil nil. It's a tale of two halves. Right. Let's talk about Leeds, though. Uh, you were talking about the uh, midfield partnership. I do like... Oh, I forgot what of it. <sighs> I quite like it as well, by the way. The Because, uh... you know, Phillips has grown on me. What, five goals this, uh, so far this season? Two assists as well. Um... Hmm. Honest. Give it Pavel. Give it Pat. Oh, Samu. Here we go. Nah, no idea. Nah. Um, yeah, I quite like it. Um, and obviously, I'm, I'm actually quite going to look like uh, Calvin Phillips a lot more. Um, five goals, two assists, like I say. Uh, but I just wish uh, Vieira was getting a few more goals, maybe. Yeah. It's always been. An, it's always seemed an issue with uh, goals from midfield. Yeah. Um... It depends, obviously, who if you class ah oh, you class Saez and Alioski and that as part of the midfield or. I think I you know. have to, don't you? Yeah, really? um, but Calvin, he's he's uh, I really like him. Um, I think he brings a lot to the team off the pitch as well. He is a very good character. He's got good personality about him. Seems as well. fun. Seems yeah, fun. So I mean, and it, twenty-two years of age. I think you'd expect him and hope it would be. Come on, someone. No! Oh my word. Goalie's way out of. No! I'll just have a pop shot. Oh! Ho, ho. There you go, Calvin, there nearly, he is. Nearly. Uh, but that bubbly personality that I, you need to have in a team. Yeah. Um, so I really like him. Um, and yeah, I think he brings a lot as well on the pitch, uh, as well as off it. And what a ball that is. Oh, Calvin again. Cutting it out. Come on, Kemar. Have a, have, a, have a good run, son. No. Terrible. I'm going into it, though. I'm going into it. It could be a chance. He's a historic comeback on the cards. Norwich-esque. Last Come season. Come on. Oh, my word. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No! Oh, my phone's buzzing. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, a dicko. Get rid of the O. Mm. 
That's what you How are. is that not a pass back? That's what you are. Sorry. Oh my word. That's just unnecessary. Yeah. I, mean, I am sorry. Yeah, yeah, let's not be hostile now. You dicko. <laughs> oh. um, of course, let us know your style 11. What would you go with in the comments and also your score predictions? Plenty of you getting in touch, of course, on our Twitter uh, at LS11LUFC and of course on Radio Yorkshire as well. Uh, don't know if the competition's still going, but of course, keep an eye out for. Uh, VIP tickets. We had some uh, up for grabs as well. Uh, you can uh, go and watch Leeds United. Leeds United uh, going uh, and they be in the box. And you can go and uh, get like a, a really nice fancy meal. You get a pre-match po- program. So nice. Betting at your table. It's so nice. Uh, and the cups of tea there, pretty decent. Not gonna lie. It, it's so nice. So so nice. It is well worth entering. And it's free. What can you want? It is uh, to steal a phrase from you. Uh, deluxe. What was that? What are you doing? I don't know. That I wasn't deluxe. It. I meant to cross it. That was d- rubbish. I'll Get never win the beating points in there. Get out. <laughs> no. Won't give There's you a chance. thing though, Hull have hardly had anything going on in this half so far. Clinical enough, we've won the game already. Sure. Don't need to do anything. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, why? It's outside the area. Ah. Was it? Get him set off! <laughs> Get up here, like, stop pissing around. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh my! How is he. What's he done? How has that got under him? Oh my word. Oh. <laughs> Celebrate it like it's a third, an equaliser. Look at this. I thought I'd turn the target off. What? Oh my word. All right, let's make some changes. Yes, it's this. Boo hoo. Boo car. Boo McGregor. Boo. Yeah. What are we talking about? Let's bring your union on. Yeah. So I get some. All right, you do that. Who have you brought on? Uh, Bron Stewart in midfield and Diamande up front. Oh, Diamande, ah. Fresh legs up top. Do you know something? Back in uh, when Hull were uh, first back in the championship or something, I think it was obviously Diame went to Newcastle. That season, big, big Mo Diame fan. Oh, it's not Mo Diame, I'm afraid, to lay down. What is it? It's uh, Diamande, isn't it? No, I'm saying about Diamet. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. I liked him when yeah, he was yeah. at Hull, but he's now currently at Newcastle still, isn't he? But he's not getting know. any game time, but he was know. great at Hull and scored the playoff winner. Was a big fan of him back in like FIFA 16, maybe, something like that. I think Danny Parkinson was as well. You know, what a oh, great challenge. Oh, why did that get, what? Come back on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, Berardi's lost it. Lost it. Oh, he's not even card. Not even him. card. He's scared of Berardi. Hang on, how, how, what? I'm so confused, how did you do that? Magic. My magic. No. Damn it. Yes, no. 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 No, no, what a shot. no one like, Felix! <laughs> no one like that. That was just all round rubbish for everyone. Win that. Anyone Ref, get, get off him. What? The referee, oh. Oh. Ah, ah! All I want for Christmas is a win. <laughs> Reducer. Right, come on, Pierre. Oh, we brought Pierre on. Should be back for this one as well. Oh, rubbish, you are rubbish. Sure. rubbish. What have I done? What have I done? I? Ten minutes, boys. Big ten minutes. Don't let TC down. It's a Christiansen Christmas after all. Just, just hold on to this. Nicest man in football, Nigel Atkins will be happy with this. He's not the nicest man in football. He's very nice. He bought you ice cream once. He didn't buy me ice cream. He though, was like going to take you for ice cream. What did he, what's the story of you and Nigel Atkins then? I thought you said he bought you ice cream. I was going to take you to get some ice cream. Oh, no, that was uh, just uh, a big uh, over dramatization. Is oh, that right, the word? Okay. Um, no, when he was Sheffield United boss, um, we had a press conference at Bramall Lane, but when they had their photo day. So there's no one really to do the press conference. So he just invited everyone to into his office. Was really welcoming. Like, oh yeah, I was having tea and coffee and all. He's really just really lovely about the whole thing. Since then, 
Just fond offside. What a save. What a save. Oh, I was offside. Big mm. long ball down line. How did, oh, hang on. You changed camera, don't you? Yeah. Never mind. yeah. Oh, that's worked out. Come on, Felix. Chase it down. There you go. Box them in, boys. Box, box them in. Right, that worked. All right, that definitely worked. Come on, Samu. With your luscious locks of hair. Oh! <laughs> Let him know you're there, boys. Let him know you're there. Here we go. So, a whole the team you score a lot. We've scored a lot. Ooh, on the ropes a bit defensively here. No! Ah! Pontus is a real presence there, despite scoring. Yeah, he three. wasn't in the first half, but yeah. Oh my. Oh, what a ball! What a ball! Grzycki! Shoot! Ah, oh, it fakes it! Ah! Oh, Felix! No! <laughs> He's fouled him! That's a foul! Oh, well, I hit him in the face. Oh, who's got the, the whole defender who's been on for nine minutes has got more pace than Lasaga. God damn it. Ah, so infuriating. There we go. Ah. There we go. You can talk. I'm annoyed. So Hull won that game of FIFA. Yeah, that's obvious. I once again beat Tom Maguire at the FIFA. We've got a Radio Yorkshire uh, Christmas World Cup coming out, haven't we? As well. Well, I beat Tom Maguire at that. Remains to be seen. Ooh, no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just in shock. Um, what, hey, what, what, so what a penalty. What a penalty, though. What a penalty, though, that. I mean, it's not every day you see a goalkeeper purposely arc his body over the ball <sighs> to let it go in. You're not good at these outros. Let me let me sum, uh, let, let me, let me sum up for you, right? Hull 3, Legion United 1. Realistic or not? No. 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 no? What's no, your score no. prediction, Tom? 3-1 Leeds, reverse it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, go with what, a, what a, a I think a 2-1 win for Leeds. Yeah? Yeah, I think they, uh, defensively they might be a little bit shaky at the back, but like we say, a whole score goals. Um, whether it does come out, uh, we'll have to wait and see, but you're going to be reporting on the game, aren't you? Yes, so, yes. So uh, uh, make sure you keep an eye on uh, LSL. We're going to be speaking to Thomas Christensen on Friday uh, and uh, plenty of interviews of uh, the Leeds United boys at the uh, LGI as well to keep an eye out on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do an, that's how you do an outro. Go. You can play FIFA, but you can't do an outro. Go! I don't want to do the outro. Yeah. I wanted to make this last as long as possible. <sighs> Fair for your suffering. I should have gone in. Um, anyway, yeah, FIFA World Cup as well. We're doing a Christmas World Cup. Whether I beat Tom in that, you'll have to check out. Friday we're doing it, um, which is uh, probably roughly around when uh, this is. Uh, you're watching this and everything, so keep an eye on our Facebook page. Uh, like LS11 and all that stuff. See you soon. Merry Christmas. Bye.